Hi, I'm Lisa Bardell. And I'm Bear Bardell. And today we're teaching kids how to use Procreate. Procreate. <laughs> In this video, we'll learn about making a new canvas, playing with different brushes, choosing colors, using layers, moving things around, and more. <laughs> Before we get started, I wanted to tell you about a page I have on my website that is all about Procreate for kids. I've got more cool stuff to learn, free coloring page downloads, free Procreate brushes, which I'll show you in a little bit, and a lot more. You can find that at bardobrush.com slash kids. All right, Bear, we're gonna get started. Are you ready? Yep. So what is Procreate? Procreate is an app on the iPad that you use to draw, and you can draw forever. Forever. How old are you? Seven. Seven, and do you like using Procreate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you like to do with it? I like to draw things you can erase with the glimmer. The glimmer, that's a brush. <laughs> um, I like erasing with it because it looks cool. Yeah, do you like using Procreate? Mm -hmm. You excited to teach people about how to use yeah. it? Yeah, no, teach kids. Teach kids, yeah, we're teaching kids. So the iPad that Bear is gonna be using today to teach you guys is a standard iPad from 2018. It's a sixth generation iPad. And he's also going to be using, what's that in your hand? An Apple Pencil. An Apple Pencil. This is the first generation Apple Pencil. Um, but you don't have to use an Apple Pencil, do you? What no. can you use instead? Your finger. You can use your finger. You don't have to use this. When you open up Procreate, the first thing you're gonna see is this. And what is this called, Bear? Gallery view. Gallery view, that's right. It lets you see all your different artwork that you've drawn. Mm -hmm. And we have, and me and Ellie have drawn a lot. Like, yes, and who's Ellie? My sister. Yeah, you guys really like to draw. So if we wanna start a new drawing, what do we do? So there is this plus sign in the upper right corner. You hit it. Like I mm -hmm. did. <laughs> and then there's a lot of different options here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to choose the first one, which is called what? Screen size. Screen size. And then this is where we actually do all the drawing, right? Yes. Yeah. This is called a canvas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to learn is how to pick a color because color is pretty much my favorite thing. And I know you love color too. Yeah! So we're going to start there. So how do we choose a color? So you go to this black circle. It won't always be black. Not always black. So it's whatever color that you choose, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got a couple things here. We've got this ring, which that's all the what? Color. All the different colors. So there's yellow, green, blue, whatever color you want, you first choose that. So why don't you do that? White. Green. And then this middle part is what? What is this middle part? This middle part is how green is whitest or blackish yeah. want your color to so you can choose like a light green or a dark green or like a like that's a little bit of green or a lot of green that's what you use that middle part for so why don't you go ahead and choose a green the green is green okay so that's how you pick a color we're going to start with green the next thing that we want to do is to choose a brush so how do we find the brushes it's the first one of those things yeah it's a little paintbrush. And when mm -hmm. you get in there, there's all these different sets mm -hmm. that have like kind of like different art materials, different mm -hmm. art supplies. So what I would do is maybe you tap into a couple of those to show what's inside. So why don't you go and tap? Let's tap luminance. Luminance, we've got elements, ear brushing. There's all kinds of different stuff. Why don't we start with inking? And we've got studio pen here. What, you want to use that one? Yeah. Okay. That's a simple one. And then one. you can tap the paintbrush icon again to make it go away. Yeah. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is to try out the brush. So why don't you go ahead and just start drawing. Swingy. Yeah. So that's what that one looks like. Do you want to choose a different one? Let's do That one's called noise brush. Yeah. Ooh. That looks totally different, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's pick another one. Whoops. Let's go, let's pick one like ooh, wet acrylic. Ooh. ooh, that one's all painty. And let's choose maybe one more. Wait. Ooh, try this one from the drawing set. Blackbird, 
Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'm so hold on, Bear. I think our canvas is getting really full, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't we teach people how to erase? Good idea. Because you love using the eraser, don't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so where's the eraser? Right here. Mm -hmm. And you can tap it one more time. And you can actually choose any of the brushes to use as an eraser, which is really cool. So why don't you choose one and we'll see what happens. Ooh, that one's really cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the paint brushes and you can try a few more. Okay. Okay. And so the first thing that I would recommend doing for anybody that's using Procreate for the first time is to just go through the brushes and try out the different ones and see what they do. So Bear, why don't you choose a different color now? Yeah, good idea. Okay. How about Ellie's favorite? Purple. Wow, that's tiny. And so, whoa, that's so giant. What, yeah, so what Bear is doing right now is he's seeing what happens when you press really lightly and when you press really heavy with the Apple Pencil because it's going to do different stuff depending on what brush you have. So try a bunch of different brushes. You could try different colors if you want. You can draw, try different things you're using. Sure. Like that. And just see what they do. Um, and you might find brushes that you really, really like. Try pressing very hard and try pressing really lightly. All right, so Bear, we've got these little sliders on the side of the screen. Do you want to tell people what the first one does? Mm, the first one is how big or small. Big or small the brushes. So if it's up, your brush is going to be really big. Like mine. That's huge. <laughs> and then maybe we could select a different color to show them what it looks like when it's really small. There, it's nice blue. And so go ahead and move it down, and that's going to make your brush really small, like that. And then what does this other one do? This is the opacity. And what is opacity? Opacity is how see-through something is. So if we slide that down a little bit, why don't you go ahead and do that? You see it's a little bit see-through. And if you have it all the way up, it won't be see-through at all. It depends on the brush that you're using, but that's generally what that does. And then there's one more thing that we want to show you, which is how to do undo. Remember how to do that? Two undos. There's two different ways to do it. This is the simplest. So there's a little arrow right there, and that will undo. You can tap it. Yeah. To undo what you did, take away the strokes that you just did. Like so. And then you can also redo, which is the one right below it. Mm -hmm. Redo. Redo it all the way. And then there's another way to do undo, and that is tapping with two fingers. Mm -hmm. Good. And then you can redo. Tapping with three fingers. Redo, redo. So what I would do right now is to just play with the different brushes. See what they look like, see what they do, get different colors, make different marks, and just play and experiment. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. Just have fun and kind of see what all the brushes do. All right, so we've done a lot of different brushes and he's been playing around a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and learn some new stuff now. So we're gonna create a new drawing. And to do that, we have to go back to gallery view. So Bear, can you show people how to get back to gallery view? Mm -hmm. You hit the word gallery right here. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna create a new canvas now. So you hit the plus sign and hit screen size. Mm -hmm. All right, so next we're gonna learn a little bit more about colors. And we're gonna show you a really cool feature called Color Drop. Ooh, you ready? My favorite. It is your favorite, you love using Color Drop. So let's go to our brushes. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the inking set. Yeah. And we're gonna choose Studio Pen, which is that one right there. Mm -hmm. It's okay. in blue. All right, and then we're gonna go to our colors, and you already have black selected, but make sure you choose black. So it's moving this thing all the way down to the middle like this. And then on the canvas, we're just gonna draw like a bunch of like squiggly lines. You ready? 
Squiggle, dwiggle, dee, dee, dee. Go all the way over here. All right, that's perfect. So then we're gonna select a bunch of colors and we're gonna fill in all those little holes. And we're gonna do like a cool, kind of like a stained glass looking thing. So let's go to our color picker and mm -hmm. why don't you choose whatever color you want. Uh -huh. Now, to use color drop, it's really cool. All you have to do is what? Hold the color, then drag it, then blop. Mm -hmm. That's you do it again. Go ahead and show that again. Blop. You just drag it and drop it in. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and choose another color. Blank. Ooh. And we'll choose a few different colors and kind of fill in all the holes. Now, Bear, what if you wanted to choose a color that you already used? How do you do that? So you would put your finger down, hold it, and then it'll close up on everything you did. So why don't you choose blue? But it'll also choose... There you go. Your color. So you can use that to choose any color you've already got on your canvas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now go ahead and pick another new color. Green. And you can actually use color drop to fill in shapes that you've already filled with color. So why don't you change that blue to a green? Okay. Yeah. And what about this tiny triangle here? It's mm -hmm. a little hard to drop into, so maybe we can show them how to zoom in. Yeah. So you put your pinch your fingers outwards. Outwards. Mm -hmm. And then look. And then how do you zoom back out? You look. Yep. Mm -hmm. You take your fingers and you go whoop really quick like that, super quick. So you can yeah. zoom in and you can move it around and all that kind of stuff. And then if you go whoop really quick, it zooms back out. All right, why don't you fill in that last bit? Blank. Awesome. <laughs> Looks super cool. And we can also change the background color, which is all the white space around what we drew. So to change the background color, you hit these two squares, and then you hit this that says background color, you hit this white space, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go here and... Whoa, that's so cool. It's kind of fun to watch all the colors change. All right, go ahead and pick whatever color you want for the background there. But you can also do this. All right, you can do black? Yeah. Okay, super awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the gallery view now. Gallery. So the next thing we're gonna teach you about are layers. And layers are super cool. They let you hide things and move things around. And it's something that you can't do on paper, but you can do in Procreate. So we're really excited to show you about that next. All right. So let's go ahead and create another new canvas. Tap the plus sign and tap screen size. To show you about layers, we are gonna draw an octopus. So why don't you go ahead and do that, Bear? So we're gonna choose what? Purple. Purple. Right now I'm drawing an octopus. How many legs does it have? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Whoa, <laughs> I love that. Next, I'm going to draw some eyes. Okay. Oh, is that too big? No. Now, wait. Gotta be super hard to. So, Bear, we want our octopus in the water, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to do that using layers. So, where do we find the layers, Bear? In those two squares. In those two squares. And to create a new layer, yes. we're going to tap... The plus sign. Mm -hmm. That's how you'll create everything. All right, and you'll see a new layer appears. It says layer two. You ready to draw some water? Yeah! Okay, so go ahead and choose blue. I'm going to zoom out a little. Okay, got some wavy water and then you're going to fill it in, right? Yeah. With color drop. Oh no, but where did our octopus go? Is it gone? No. No, it's not because it was on another layer. So let's go over to layers. Go to the two squares. They are the layers. 
air. Oh yeah, then we got our octopus there and we've got our water there. And see that little checkbox? You can actually uncheck it. Jackie. See, our octopus is safe. Jackie. We didn't erase it. So go ahead and turn it back on. <laughs> And we actually want our water to be behind the octopus. So you want to show them how to do that? Mm -hmm. We're going to move the layer. Yeah. So you hold the layer, then you move it down under the octopus. There we go. And now our water is behind the octopus. I love it. So our water looks a little plain. Do you want to jazz it up a little bit? Yeah. Add some more color? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's maybe get a darker blue. Do you want to get a little bit darker yeah. blue? Mm-hmm. And then we'll pick another brush to add some texture. So go to brushes. Yes. And let's go to what? Water. Water. Mm -hmm. Wash. Wash. All right, Bear's adding some more color to his water, but look what's happening here. It's kind of going above the water. Aww. And we don't want it to do that, do we? No. So we're going to use a really cool feature called Alpha Lock. So go ahead and undo what you just did. Okay. Okay. And then go to your layers. Mm -hmm. And then you can. Tap where it says layer two, the one with the water. And then we get a whole little menu here. And there's one that says what? What does that say? Alpha lock. Alpha lock. <laughs> and that will turn on alpha lock. And you'll know it's turned on because there is a little bit of a checkerboard pattern behind your drawing in the mm -hmm. thumbnail. And the other way that you can do it is to swipe to the right with two fingers. Do it one more time to turn it back on. There you go. Now when Bear adds more color, he can only draw within the shape he's already made, within mm -hmm. the water shape. See how it's not going past where the water is? Mm -hmm. It looks cool. Go ahead and add a little bit more. Ta-da! Super cool. So I think this drawing could use some plants. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so what are we gonna do? We want the plants to be over everything else, right? On top of the water and on top of the octopus. So what can we do? Let's um, tap the two squares. For layers. Mm -hmm. Hit this plus sign again. And then layer three appears. Yep. And we're going to move it to be uh, on top of the other layers. So now we've got this layer on top of the other two layers, which means that when we draw, what we draw is going to be on top of everything else, right? That makes sense. No. <laughs> All right, so let's get green. Yeah, light, light, light green. Uh, then I'll get a new brush. Why do choose calligraphy? I'm on the one I want, chalk. I'll chalk. And twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist. Swish! I want some. See, I'm going to draw some seaweed pieces. Some seaweed pieces. Cool. All done? Yep. Awesome. High five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>
Are you sure that's not a banana? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> all right, so you're going to color it in. And it doesn't look at all like a banana. Two circles on each end. Then two eyes. And it's a moon. Love it. What do you want to draw next? A superstar. Okay. So you hit colors again. Go to yellow. So we're going to draw one triangle at the top, one triangle on the side, one triangle at the bottom, another triangle at the bottom, and the last one on the side. Then color it in. Now for black. That's great. Yay! I'm gonna draw a grown mushroom. So you go to orange, like that. So you're gonna draw a grown mushroom. So a rectangle, then color it in. And then two black eyes. Then a red. And draw that. So you're going to draw a half dot, another half dot, another half dot, and a whole dot. Then color it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All done! So Bear, what if we want to move things around on our canvas? Like we want to move the star over there, the moon over there. What do we do? So you hit the F, the little S, and then put a box around whatever you're moving or any shape. Then hit this arrow, then move it to wherever you want. Ta-da! Yeah. What if we wanted to make this mushroom bigger? What would we do? So you hit the S. And then maybe we can we can move our canvas with our fingers so we can see the whole yeah. mushroom. And then you draw a shape around the mushroom. Then you hit the arrow, then move it up a little, then you see these little blue dots? Uh huh. You tug on the, you drag them to make it bigger. Wow, that's super big. And then you can also, you can also resize things by taking your fingers, and you can pinch like that. As long as your fingers are inside this rectangle with these dotted lines, you can make things bigger or smaller like that. Mm -hmm. So why don't we put it like that? Nice big mushroom. That looks awesome. Thanks. <laughs> so the last thing we're going to show you is a really cool feature called Quick Shape, and it lets you make shapes really quickly, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to draw to show them that? A Yoshi egg. A Yoshi egg. <laughs> so I'm going to hit the color, then go to black. So you draw a circle, and then don't let go. Then you can do this to make it bigger or smaller. And it's fun to do this. Cool, and look at that. You've got like a really nice oval. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna make three big green dots. Then one dot, two dots, and third dot. And that's a Yoshi egg. Awesome, I love your Mario <laughs> art bear. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for, for watching. watching. I hope you learned some awesome stuff about Procreate and you're excited to make art. Did you have fun, Bear? Yep. All right. So there's plenty more to learn about Procreate. I've got some awesome videos on my channel if you want to check them out. I think we're going to probably be making more videos for kids in the future if Bear is willing to help me. Yep. All right. Again, I'm Lisa Bardot. And I'm Bear. And he's Bear. And I help people find their creativity through drawing on the iPad. Be sure to check out our free Procreate brushes for kids and like and subscribe. Thanks and happy art making! If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Thanks and have a great day! <laughs> one more time, one more time. Thank you. <laughs> Don't hit the iPad. In layers, we'll be on top of whatever <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? I vibe! Ah. Oh, try again. I vibe! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. And that's
Pass around!